What's up Honda fans? I'm Honda Laura and today we are doing a review on the 2018 Honda Odyssey in the LX trim level so you can see what you get when you go for the base model. So let's get it going. As always, we'd like to say thank you to Herb Chambers, Honda and Seekonk for letting us take out the Odyssey today. So for 2018, Honda did a full redesign on the Odyssey. It looks amazing. And they packed so many things into the base model. Let's start off with the exterior features. So starting off at the front end, when I look at the new front end, I still feel like I'm looking at a Honda Odyssey. I can identify it. It's just a little bit more updated and classy. Chrome spanning the entire width, a nice large H emblem, projector beam, halogen headlights. Moving down along the side, a really great feature for me, in my opinion, is going to be the alloy wheels on a base model. These are 18 inch alloy wheels. There are matte black mirrors and door poles. And then you have the rear privacy glass on base models. That's always a great feature. Another thing they did for the Honda Odyssey is they hid the door track in the window. So it's a lot more streamlined. I think they did a great job with that capless fuel filler and just great lines all the way down the side. Moving down along the back side, I think they did a great job with the design. They sort of made the window very large. They made the chrome span the entire width so it kind of breaks it up and then the bottom is going to be the entire color of the body color. Love it. Backup camera, standard on all Honda models. And LED brake lights. Now let's take a look under the hood. Under the hood of the 2018 Honda Odyssey is a 3.5 liter V6 engine which produces 280 horsepower. Believe it or not, this LX Odyssey features the 9-speed automatic transmission which was only on touring and elite models and it has a 19 city, 28 highway and a combined of 22 miles per gallon. So even with just the exterior features and under the hood, you can tell that Honda did a really good job. They really tried to be thoughtful with this LX base model. Let's take a look on the inside and see what other things they did. So here we are now behind the wheel of the 2018 Honda Odyssey. And as I've said many times, I think Honda is so thoughtful when they design their LX base models. I feel like they start from the bottom and then add from there as opposed to other car manufacturers that give you nothing in their base model. It's so cozy in here. I really don't even feel like I'm in a base model. It's leaps and bounds ahead of last generation's LX Honda Odysseys. So a couple major things that definitely stand out when you get back here is going to be push button start. On the base model, I think that is so cool. They started doing that in the Honda Pilots too, now featured on the Odyssey. Another amazing thing that you can't help but notice is going to be the nine speed automatic transmission shifter paddle. It's like there's no, because I've heard a lot of people complain about the where the shifter knob was, especially if you remember like older Odyssey generations, it was like right here next to your steering wheel. So if you were trying to get to the radio or anything, you were going to hit it. This is just buttons. It's flat. It's actually super cool looking and it's very convenient. Another thing that stood out to me, especially when I got into the base model Odyssey is going to be the center console. So if you were familiar with the old one, you know that there was nothing there. It was a extra you had to get. This one is a large center console. It has four cup holders, a deep well, there's an auxiliary port, USB connections, a quick charge 2.5 amp USB. So that is a great feature. You have a new TFT dial up front. So you're going to have the digital odometer. It's nice and colorful, bright, and there's a bunch of buttons on the steering wheel kind of like they introduced in the new 10th generation Civic. So it's gonna be able to control what's going on up there through down here. So I, I really like that too. They also on the side have the, have the electronic parking brake and the brake hold system. That's a nice, makes everything just so streamlined. Five inch audio screen. Um, it did look a little funny when you went in and saw that screen on like others, but I think they kind of framed it a lot better. So it's not as funny looking this small little teeny tiny screen on this big giant car because they've kind of 
rearranged it really well. I think it fits. And there's a volume knob. Who doesn't love that? Bluetooth standard, backup camera. I think it's very well equipped. Now let's take a look at the back seats. So the second row, I'm pretty sure that these doors are a lot easier to open and close. I think they just, I don't know, slide much easier, maybe due to that new track that they put on there. But back seat is very spacious, very comfortable. So the LX is going to be seven passengers. It has the two captain's chairs, so it is really great for, you know, if you're a family with two or more car seats or two car seats and then another child that maybe needs to get to the back row. So I think that's a really great setup. And then, you know, they kind of have a rough down here, so it's okay to step on, you know, make it a little bit more um, traction-y so you don't fall or anything. So super spacious, bright. Um, yeah, let's take a look at the third row. So here we are in the third row. This is my least favorite seat because I get motion sickness, but it is very spacious. So I would say, you know, you could definitely fit three people back here. Three people maybe my size, two people maybe bigger, but you could probably fit like four kids back here. So I mean, well, no, scratch that. There's only three seat belts, don't do that. But there is a lot of cargo space. So let's go check that out. So opening up the tailgate, you see all of the ton of space that the Honda Odyssey has. There is 38 cubic feet of cargo space back here. Another amazing thing about the Honda Odyssey is the magic seats. They're incredibly easy to fold down. And when you do that, you get 92 cubic feet of cargo space behind here. You can fit a ton of stuff. I think it, and, and they're really easy to put back up. Minimal effort. Right? So easy. <clears throat> so that was our interior and exterior. Now let's take it out on the road and see how it does. Probably good. So I really can't even tell that I'm in a base model. I mean, it's, first of all, amazingly comfortable. The ride is just smooth and it's quiet and I mean all these like added upgraded features like the you know dual screen and the nine speed automatic transmission the push button start I really don't even feel like I'm in a base model it's it's crazy another really great feature that comes on this base model Odyssey is gonna be power driver and power passenger seat I think that's something that a lot of people um, that's a that's a feature that's important to people people like that so i think it was important to point out on a base model of course there's always the <clears throat> of course there's always a stigma around a minivan you know people don't want to be that minivan mom or dad but if you have those children and and the use for the space i mean why not? You know, you can fit, you know, kids that have activities. Um, if you have like strollers, this is an amazing car for that. You know, if I had a use for it, it just drives so comfortably and, and it's quick and responsive. It's safe and solid feeling on the highway. So I think that, you know, if you do have children and a use for all this space, it's it's a really great car. And that was our review for the 2018 Honda Odyssey in the LX trim level. With an MSRP of 29,990, they put so many amazing features in there. I was extremely impressed. I don't know about you. Thank you to Herb Chambers Honda of Seekonk for letting us take out the new Odyssey today. Don't forget to like our video, leave us a comment, Subscribe to our channel. I'm Honda Laura, and I'll see you next time.